Now, let me be honest with you. I think that a lot of believers today have actually the priority in prayer completely backwards. Our priorities when it comes to prayer are not God's priorities. Uh, recently, uh, Barna released data on a study they did where they asked people, what does the content of your prayers most often pertain to? And what they found was really, really interesting. Here, here's primarily, and based on all the people that they polled, here's primarily what people said that they pray, pray about and see if you can identify with the majority of these. Number one, uh, at first they said, you know, we like to give thanks to God. And then after that, this is everything that came after that, my health and wellness the needs of my family and community, personal guidance in crisis, confession and forgiveness, things I suddenly feel compelled or urged to pray about, safety in my daily travel or tasks, a sense of peace, blessings for meals, specific requests from others, concerns about the nation or government, concerns about global problems or injustices, and my sleep. And I thought that was kind of funny. My sleep is put right there on the same level as global problems and injustices. But those are the things that when you ask people, what, what is the, the priority in your prayer? What are the, what a content of your prayers usually look like? It's typically those kinds of things that we focus on. And, and tell me if you don't think, well, not right now, but think about if that's not actually true in your own life. And this is really interesting because in the Lord's Prayer, the Lord's Prayer has six requests or six petitions, and they're broken up in two parts. The first three have to do primarily with God and his kingdom, and the last three have to do with us, with our needs. Now, a lot of people have noted that, that the Lord's Prayer, in, in some sense, is similar to the Ten Commandments, because if you think back to the Ten Commandments, right, the first uh, five commandments really focus on our relationship to God and authority, the sort of vertical relationship between God and his people. And then the the later commandments, the last half of the Ten Commandments, focus on our relationship with our neighbors, with the people around us, a sort of horizontal relationship. And I think it's safe to say that generally speaking, when it comes to prayer, we tend to focus on the last half of the Lord's Prayer, on our needs. God, forgive me, of my sins. God, help me to get better. Help this person to get better. Be with me as I'm traveling. And it doesn't mean that requesting things from the Lord is a bad thing, but I think there's a priority that Jesus is trying to teach us here. He's saying, here should, here's, here's what the focus should be. Here's what the priority should be in your prayer life and in your life, just in general. God, you be great in us. That's the priority in prayer. God, you be great. May your name be known in and through me. That should be the priority of our lives and of our prayers. And that's what Jesus taught us. And the big question as we open up this text is as we look at what Jesus is saying as he's teaching us to pray is, is that your prior priority? Do you pray, hallowed be thy name, or do you mostly pray, God, hallowed be my name? Make me great. Help me excel and do well. And do you know the name of God?